What is up, YouTubers? T Squared, T Squared Talk. So, we got a large package to open. I'm going to try to. Got a big package to open here, and I can't remember exactly, exactly, exactly what this package is. So, let's start off by pulling those. We'll kick this to the curb. We'll take a quick peek at the invoice um, and see what we got here. Got some really cool stuff here. This is neat. Um, wow. Wow, wow, wow. Mercury Dime. Huh, that's pretty cool. Let's check that out. Man, we got a lot of stuff here. Nice. This package has actually uh, been sitting here for a little while. So... I'm pretty excited to open this bad boy up. Okay, so I'm a little bit ashamed uh, that I haven't opened this package up yet. It wasn't really what I thought it was. Um, I had to pause the video for a quick minute because when I opened it up, I was like, wait a minute. Um, I knew it was sitting here, but I didn't remember ordering as much stuff as I did. Um, so pretty cool there. Oh no, I didn't. I just cut that open. Darn it. Oh boy. Ah, shoot. Darn gone it. Did I die? I just cut it open. I think. I think I trimmed the end. Just a little bit. Look at that. Darn it. Well, that hurt. I think, was it? Unless it was stuck in there. Nope. I cut it. My bad. I messed up. Oh, well. Accidents happen. Um, this was a Ike Silver Dollar. I got this for $10. Bucks, um, and I just probably ruined it. Uh, go ahead. Someone out there, tell me. Um, I think I ruined it because now it's been opened. <laughs> no, <laughs> someone's out there laughing, calling me a fool right now. I can hear it. Um, oh, well, accidents happen. I'm not going to get beat up over it. I'll get my 10 bucks back. I'm sure for it. So, um, I'm not going to lose money. That was $10. It was supposed to be a, um, uncirculated Eisenhower silver dollar. That I just cut open, unfortunately. Ugh. That stings. Let's go back to rip them open. I just, I don't know what I was thinking. It's late. It's its literally 2 in the morning here. Um, and I was catching up on all my package openings tonight. Filming them all, and I thought it would be cool um, to open them all tonight. Just because... So, this right here is two beautiful San Francisco's. This is a 2016S and a 2016S. They are both MS69s. These are San Francisco's. These I paid uh, at the time. Now, keep in mind, this order I ordered on 122, and I forgot to open it. It's been sitting on my desk. I, I've been under a lot of stress lately working a couple of big deals with different people. Um, but these right here, two 16s, these cost me 41 bucks a piece. Um, I would say I'm pretty happy with that. I know some people don't put a lot of stock in San Francisco coins because they don't have an S on them. But that's okay. I'm still pretty happy with these. Um, so great coins. Amazing. And this is what I'm talking about. Universal coin, uh, universal coin and bullion never, ever, 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 ever let me down. Um, this, this place is my favorite place to buy coins. So now let's open this next one and see what all we got. Ooh, what's that? I don't know what that is. Oh, I do remember now. Okay. So Next item that we got here is a 2014-69. Uh, this is a 2014-S San Francisco. Uh, it has the San Francisco label. This is an MS-69. 
This also was $41, but when I ordered this, they only had one left, so I could only get one of them. Also, we got a 1924 uh, peace dollar. So a lot of people like these peace dollars. Uh, this peace dollar happened to be $28 uh, at the time. Uh, I'm pretty happy with that, even though Spot, I wish I knew what Spot was. That's one thing I will say about Universal uh, Coin and Bullion's invoices. I wish they put the current Spot price on their invoice at the time of placing that order. But by no means um, will I ever knock that because uh, price is everything, price and customer service. And I'll be honest, Chris over there um, takes really good. He's got amazing customer service. Um, and I'm sure all the people over there have great customer service. This is just a couple of Mercury Dimes. Uh, some people like them, some people don't. Uh, at the time of getting this, these Mercury Dimes were $2 a piece. Um, I said, you know what, throw a couple in there. Um, you can't go wrong at two bucks, I don't think, for a silver dime. Um, so two bucks, two bucks, there's four bucks on those. But like I said, again, this at the time of ordering this, this was on 122. So this was a couple months ago, 122, 2020. If you're watching this late, like not late as in like 420 weekend, um, if you're watching this like a year from now, you're going to be like, are you kidding me? That's what y'all were buying silver for? Silver's $50 and you're questioning anything? Um, but it's not 50 yet at the time of filming this. It's only 26. So the last two coins that I got, um, are 2017 San Francisco, um, MS 69s. Uh, this is, uh, adding, I'm adding these into my San Francisco book. Uh, I've got essentially two. I, I always get one for myself and one for a friend of mine. Um, if my son decides, uh, before I let him go, uh, he can change his mind and get into them. But I don't know. He's not big on, um, the San Francisco set. He kind of likes, he, he likes, I don't know. He likes everything, but he, he does like eagles. He is one of them people. He's kind of like Michael. <laughs> I'm just kidding, Michael. But Michael really likes American Silver Eagles. My son likes American Silver Eagles. The first thing he ever wanted to put together for silver. At first, he was just taking any silver. But then he later came back and said, I just want a full tube of American Silver Eagles. And he actually has that now. He hasn't really been buying a whole lot of silver right now. He's getting into a lot of other collectible stuff. But... Um, so there it is. That is what we got today. Um, you guys can let me know in the description below what you guys think about this deal. Pretty cool. Uh, I'll tell you guys the exact full cost. Please don't laugh at me in the comments for cutting open this. Um, man, don't I feel bad though that I cut that open. I'm going to have to find something to put this bad boy in or I'm going to get rid of it real quick. Um, because that drives me nuts now. I'm actually a little heartbroken over it. I doubt I'm going to get another one for $10 now. Um, and a peace dollar. So all together, I'm going to give you the full rundown on what I paid for each one. Uh, the Ike, I paid 10 at the time of ordering this. The peace dollar, I paid 28 The Mercury Dimes, I paid 2 bucks a piece. Uh, all five of the graded coins, uh, those were $41 each. And... The article, Designer of America Gold Eagle Reverse. That was free. So actually that is a article. I think that's going to tell me more about the Gold Eagle that we opened up in a previous video. Um, so I'll read that later. But super amazing deals. Let me know what you guys think about this take. Uh, every little bit adds to the stack. I couldn't be happier. Um, so please leave me a comment. Let me know what you guys think. And, uh, I really love to hear your comments. Uh, if you're not already subscribed to the channel, please hit that subscribe button. Um, leave me a comment and hit that thumbs up. We really need those thumbs up. That's what helps us basically spread the word about silver. And it is important that we spread it to help our friends, help our families. When silver skyrockets, the dollar continues to collapse. I've had people call me up 
uh, after the fact and say, I'm so glad you got me into this. Uh, I actually just received a text uh, this evening from the gentleman that finally got through to me to buy silver. Um, he actually just texted me tonight a doge question. So I could not be happier that he broke through to me um, because now I'm protected for life with sound money. So thank you all for watching, and I will see you guys again on T-Square Talk. Y'all have a great night. Take care. I'll see you guys again.